Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see scene scaling and scene orientation inside Nuke. And also we will see how to track camera inside Nuke. So let's start the class here. So now we are inside Nuke. So this is our shot here. So now before starting further work, first we have to do some project settings here. So simply press S. Then we have to select this frame size format according to our footage frame size. So whichever this 90 to 1080 here. Then after this just I am going to track this shot. So for this simply just we have to select this shot. Now press tab and just take a camera tracker node. Connect with this footage. Then after this simply in this settings. Just we have to check this preview features. So you will see. So these points are feature just I am going to track for this shot here. And also just we have to check this refine feature locations here. So now suppose you want to increase these numbers of points or features here. Then just you can adjust this value here. So now just I am going to type it here 300. So now if you will see, so these points just I am going to track for this sort here, but some points also just I am getting on top of this character here. So just we have to ignore points on this character because this will actually just create an error in your camera shot. So for this simply just we have to create a roto. So here just I have created. Then after this just we have to animate according to this object movements here. Now after this simply just we have to connect this roto node after this sort or before this camera tracker node. Now just we have to connect then double click on this camera tracker node again then go to this camera tracker tab so you will get this mask options here so now just i am getting these points on top of this character but if you will select this source alpha so now there is no any points on this character here so just you can see so like this simply just you can ignore points on your moving objects here then after this just i am going to track this sort so simply just we have to click on track So now tracking is completed then after this we have to solve our camera simply just we have to click on this solve now camera is solved and this is actually camera solve error which is 0 0.76 here so this is below one pixel so this is acceptable but suppose if you are getting this error maybe above one pixel so you have to improve your camera solve so for this simply just go to this auto track then first you can delete unsolved tracker whichever all these orange track points here just you can delete unsolved points and also just you can delete rejected whichever all these red points here as you can adjust maybe this minimum length just make it maybe 5 then you can also reduce this max error value so make it maybe 6 and this make it 3 then we have to click on the delete rejected so this will delete all these red points which are actually rejected so just you can see this improvements here then after this again just you have to update your camera solve here so like this simply if you are getting this error above one pixel so that you can improve your camera solve here so first delay just save our project now press ctrl s yes. then after all these things just we have to create a 3d setup from over this camera solve here then inside this export drop down just we have to select this scene then we have to click on create but suppose if you are using maybe version 14 plus version so just we have to untick beta version options here so now just we have to click on this create now just I am getting the 3D setups here. So simply just we have to select this main scene node and just we have to press 1. Now just we are inside new 3D view here. So simply hold middle mouse button then just you can pan. Then hold alt then right mouse button you can orbit. Then simply middle mouse button scroll then you can zoom in zoom out. This new 3D view here. So now just I am getting this locators here or you can see our point clouds here. And this is our grid here. So now after this just I am going to just define a scene origin here. So for this simply just we have to select this camera tracker node. Now press 1. And then we can double click here. And just I am going to select maybe any one point just you can select on this ground. So just I am going to select maybe this point as a scene origin. Then simply you right click. Then go to this ground plane and set origin here. Now again select this one press 1. So just I am getting all these actually points. So this is actually seen origin points. So just you can see. So I think it's still some points actually below this uh, ground here. So you will see. So just I am getting some points below this grid. So just you can see this one here. So for this just we have to orient our scene. Then for this simply just we have to double click on this 
camera tracker node then maybe you can also just switch the 3d view into maybe a right view or left view so just you can see this one here then simply you have to go to the scene tab and just you can adjust all these rotations value and just properly just you can orient your scene so this time going to adjust maybe this x value so now just you can see this one now again come inside the 3d view here so now suppose properly if you want to orient your scene and uh, if you want to match with your plate so for this what you have to do so first inside the 3d view just we have to select this camera one we just type created this camera one from our this camera tracker node so just we have to select this one then we have to lock this camera okay now just we are looking through this camera view so just you can see all these points cloud here then after this uh, we have to also select about this main plate so just select this one and press 2 so now here just type connected this viewer with our this main plate and with this C node here now simply in this viewer just click here and just we have to select this wipe options here so just I am getting these things here so now again just uh, select this main plate now press 1 and just select the C node now press 2 so just I am getting these things here so just you can see this wipe here but inside this wipe just we have to select this over so now just i am getting these things here so just we have to keep this wipe here so now just you can see so now just properly just we can see this are actually plate here and these are actually seen orientation here so just you can see so this line just we have to match with our this straight line here okay so now just i am going to orient it here then simply just you can double click on this camera tracker node and just we have to adjust all these rotations value here okay now just I am going to adjust this Y value. So as you can see this rotations here. So just we have to check actually which line just we have to match all these things here. As you can see this one here. So this will take a little bit time but you have to try to match all these things here. So just you can see this line this is just matching with this one here maybe i think it's like this simply just you can properly just you can orient your scene now after this again just uh, just we have to select this none options here and just we have to unlock this camera so now after this just i'm going to create a test object for testing over this scene here then simply just we have to click on the 3d geometry then geometry and just select this cube just i am going to create and just connect with this scene here and double click and just so just you can see this one here then we have to play this cube on top of this actually a grid here so just we have to move a little bit up so after this just i am going to render this scene here so simply for this just we have to take a scan, scan line render node so simply press tab so i'll link all these things here now just connect this viewer here now just take a scan line render node so simply press tab and just take a scan line render node scene just we have to connect with this scene the camera input just we have to connect with this camera and background just uh, if you want you can just also just uh, connect with this footage so this is just only for testing purpose here so now if you select this one press 1 now press tab so just i am getting these things here now simply you can disable all these point clouds here now press d just i am getting the geometry here then just you can adjust the geometry size yes you can place little bit here so as you can see this orientation so i think this is just a uh, matching here but still if there is any requirement then just you can simply just you can double click on this camera tracker node then go to this uh, then you can adjust all these rotations value here so maybe i think now again press tab and i'll just enable all these point clouds here so press d so just we have to check all these things here so where is our cube so this is our cube so just we have to place on top of this grid so remember this one here so again just select this cube and just place it here now press tab and just we have to check again disable all these points here so press d 
and just check all these things here. Now simply just play and just we can check. Now this is properly just matching here. So like this simply just you can adjust your scene orientation inside Nuke. Then after the just I am going to see how we can adjust our scene scale inside Nuke. So for this just I am going to take a 6 feet character as a reference for this character then we will match with this character here. So now again come inside Maya. So now we are inside Maya and just we have to create a 6 feet character. So simply just we have to click on this character control then click on import human IK. So this is 6 feet character which is around just take common human height. So just we have to delete this one. So now just select this one. Click on file then export selection folder. So inside this folder just I am going to give a name. Then format just we have to select this obj and just we have to click on export selection. So now here just I have exported over this object. Now come inside new. Now press tab and just take a read geo node. Then double click then click on file and just select your character. So this is our character object just we have to select and just we have to click on open. And just connect with this scene node and again just image input just we have to connect this checkerboard otherwise this will actually show you in black color. So now if you want to check. So simply press tab and just you can see now press F so this is actually character here okay. So now just you can see this one here. So for this what we have to do first so just simply we have to connect this image input this one so just I am getting these things here. Then after this simply just you can move it here just only for testing purpose so now press tab this is our character. So if you will not connect so this will show you here in this black. Now after this just I am going to place uh, this character. Uh, as a reference point means near to this character then we will adjust our scene scale according to this character reference. Now just disable this cube here so press D then again just select this camera tracker node press 1 then double click and just I am going to select a point so this is just only for character position. I think this is our actually character feet and near to this point. Simply just we have to select this point then we have to right click then click on this create, create this sphere. So any test geometry that you can create, even you can also just create this axis. So just create this sphere. Where is your actually sphere? Now press F. So this is our actually sphere. Again, maybe just make it uniform 10. So easily just we can find. Now press F. So easily just we can find, then we can connect with this scene node and just image input just we have to connect this checkerboard node now just I am going to see so just double click on this character now now just we have to check all these things here so where is actually sphere so because this character just we have to place at proper positions here so first so just I am going to find this sphere where is our actually sphere so this is our actually sphere okay so now just we have to view this scene now press one so both things just we will see here so here just we have to place then double click and adjust this size just make it one so simply you can double click then press tab and just take a transform geo node just we have to connect then double click and just we can move it here so like there roughly now again press tab so just I am getting these things here so now here if you will press tab so just we have to check actually so this is our camera here so little bit just only for uh, explanation here first just I am going to play this character little bit just behind this camera okay otherwise maybe this will just create a problem because this is actually too big here and just we can move so now if you will press tab so just uh, and just disable this sphere so just I am finding this character here now this is showing here actually too big because our scene is very small so we have to adjust our scene scale so for this simply just you can double click on this camera tracker node then go to this scene so you will get this uniform scale value so this value just we have to adjust and just we have to properly just we can adjust our scene scale so just make it maybe 100 so now just you can see this one here make it maybe 500 so now roughly as you can see now make it 600 so just I am taking this character reference so now just we have to again press tab and just we have to place at proper positions so where is your actually sphere so again press D so this is your actually character position so now if you select this one press 1 so easily as you can see so this is your actually character feet here okay so here just I want to place my character okay so that's why just I have created this sphere 
now just view this scan and render so just i'm going to place it here so just you can see this one then double click and just move now first press tab so just we can we have to check so even still if there is any requirement scene scaling then simply just you can double click here camera tracker node and just you can adjust this scene scale so now just simply just i'm going to check it here if this is following or not so as you can see this one so now if you will export your camera track for maya so properly you will get your scene scale inside maya also so now just i'm going to export this scene for maya now just we have to take a right geo node so press tab and just take a right geo node and just we have to connect with this scene then also enable about all these locators here now press d then double click here and just select this file and just select your folder so inside this folder just i am going to give a name cam for maya then dot fbx now we have to press open then just we have to select maybe geometry light and access just we have to untick this one here now simply just we have to click on this execute then you have to select your short range here which is about 100 frames here now simply we have to press okay so now here just i have exported this camera track for maya so now come inside maya and just we will check all these things here now first we have to import our uh, tracking data so simply we have to click on file then import and just select your file which just we have exported from nuke so this is our file simply just we have to select and just click on import so now here just i have imported all these things now simply press f so now here if you will see so also i am getting this character here in this outline as you can also see all these things here so this is our object this one so all these things and this is our actually character this object is sphere this one so just you can see this one here so now just simply we have to click on panel and just select this camera view so just i am getting these things here now if you want to import your maybe a plate so first we have to select all these locators now just create a group Control G. Then we have to select this main group and this camera. Now again press Control G. And just we have to create a main scene group. Now just I am going to import our plate. So simply just we have to select this camera. Then just create image plane. Go to this attribute. Then environment and just create this image plane. Then click on this image name and just select your image sequence. So this is our sort. So just we have to select the starting frame. Now just we have to click on open. Then click on use image segment. So still actually just I am not getting any locators here. So simply just uh, we have to go to this bottom side. So you will get the depth options. So now just make it four thousand five hundred. Now just I am getting all these things here. Now simply just we can play and just we can check. So now just you can see here. So all things are just matching here. But now suppose you want to test this scene inside Maya. So simply just delete this uh, character here. Delete all these things here. Just delete this character. Now, just I am going to create a six bit character, which is Maya default character. So, if you click here and just click on Import Human IK. So now this is just matching here. Okay, so just you can see this one here. So properly, whatever just I have adjusted our series screen inside new. So same thing just I am getting inside Maya. So now just all things are just matching here. Then after this, as you can do your remaining match moving work inside Maya. Now again come inside new. So guys, like this simply, just you can properly just you can orient your scene inside Nuke, and also just you can adjust your scene scale inside Nuke. So if you like this video, please watch, share, comment, and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribed my channel. So thanks for watching.